All right, guys, welcome back to another ultimate loadout building video. And today we've got a pretty unique loadout theme because we're going to be going for the Joker. Now, I'm calling it the Joker. It's going to be purple and green. The Joker I'm basing it off is the Heath Ledger one. Like, you know, the, the good Batman series uh, where the Joker just looks sick with that purple and green. That's what we're going to go for. Before we get into it, I want to tell you about the giveaway we're running this month, which is for a field-tested Bowie knife Crimson Web. All you have to do to enter this is make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and then leave a comment down below of your favourite skin from today's video. Best of luck to those at any rate, and let's get into it. Now, prepare yourself because this is going to be expensive. The first combo I have here, it is the ultimate. There's no budget cap here. The first gun was going to be the Pandora's Box in Field Test at $5,000. I know I could spend more, but I feel like $5,000 is kind of the max we're going to spend here. And then we're going to get an M9 Bayonet Emerald, which estimated price at the minute in factory new is about $13,000. Which means this combo alone is $18,000. But for that purple and green that we want for the Joker theme, it is absolutely perfect. This video is sponsored by CSGO Lock, one of the fastest growing Counter-Strike sites with a lot of games to play, a bunch of deposit methods and instant withdrawals with a store full of skins and crypto withdrawals coming in the future. You can claim three free cases by using my code FOZ or clicking the link in the description. You can play case battles against real players or bots with the potential to win cool skins or you can just straight up open some cases. They also have other cool games and CSGO Lock is loaded with bonuses and rewards like unlocking daily cases for free thanks to your level and the leaderboard with lots of prizes. Make sure to use my code FOZ or the link in the description to claim your three cases and let's get back to the video. Now I have two more combos, one super expensive, one a bit more reasonable. Now this one is pretty much the reverse of what we just did. We're going from purple gloves and a green knife to green gloves and a purple knife. It is going to be the emerald webs here for $2,000 in minimal wear. And then we're going to have a butterfly doppler black pearl, which is $9,000. Honestly, this black pearl looks insanely good. Uh, people may make a claim for the hedge maze, but because the joker is like this sort of bright green, I don't think they'd be a good fit. Overall, I do think the first combo is better, but if you want something that's a little bit different, this is the $11,000 cost one. And then the last combo I'm calling the reasonable, or the real one, that you could actually reasonably purchase yourself. Um, it's going to be Driver Gloves Imperial Plaid in minimal wear, which is about $550. And then we're going to go for a Phase 2, because it's the closest to the Emerald. And I've gone for it on a Huntsman, which is about $470. So we've kept the same sort of approach that we had for that first combo with the purple gloves and the green knife. Because I think overall for the loadout, that's what's going to work best. But this is the more affordable one, because it is just over that $1,000 mark. And I still think this looks pretty cool. But it is the ultimate loadout, so I'm going to be running with the Pandora's box and the M9 Emerald because this just looks absolutely perfect. Now, what we're going to do for skin wise is basically green and purple skins. Uh, green obviously has a nice contrast, has that Joker contrast, and then some purple skins pair really nicely with the gloves. And we'll go through those now. I don't think there should be any surprise when it comes to the Glock. It is going to be the Emerald. This is factory new and it's $570. But that purple and green contrast here is amazing. Now, when I came to green USPs, I personally use a road rash with some stickers on it. But I think, actually, the $37 in factory you're going to pay for the monster mashup with that uh, green into the blue with small hues of purple is actually really nice. And it's more like artwork that's more akin or relatable to what you'd think with the Joker. Now, one that's actually affordable that I think looks really good here is going to be the P2000 Acid Edge. Obviously, it's got a purple base with like blue, yellow, orange, green, everything, four leaf clovers all over it and it's a dollar fifty in factory news. This is actually a really nice pickup for this loadout. Now the reasonable price skins didn't last long because for the Deagle we're gonna go for an Emerald Yermingander. About $280 here will get you a double zero float, which means it looks really clean. And this is another one where we're getting that really nice contrast between the purple and the green. Now, I actually had two AK choices here. The one I have gone for is the cheaper of the two, and it's going to be the AK-47 Hydroponic. Now, you could go for like a Neon Rider and go purple with the gloves. That would look cool, but I do want that green offset still. I think overall, you're paying 1850 for this in factory new. It is a really nice sort of bright green, which I think is, again, more akin to that sort of Joker vibe, maybe, that you would expect. But the alternative, if you want to spend an extra ten grand is going to be the Wild Lotus. Now, honestly, I prefer this with the gloves, but again, I think the green and the artwork, it's not quite... I think the Hydroponic basically ticks that box of the Joker style and what you'd expect with it that a little bit more. 
Now, it's times like this where having a Gamma Doppler or some form of, like, really flashy green M4 would be super good. But I'm actually going to go for the Hyper Beast here. Um, I've gone for this because it has the purple and the green in it. It's got some blue accents on it. I think, actually, it looks really good with the gloves. And, again, it's just this sort of, like, cha chaotic artwork that, again, I think you can kind of fit with the Joker. And then I'm going to continue on this sort of, like, chaotic artwork theme. We're going to pick up an In Living Color here for $25 in Factory New. Now, I know... This Hyper Beast and this In Living Color in the grand scheme seem quite cheap, but they do fit in really nicely for what we're going for here. So, you know what, I'll take them when they're a better price. And then my op of choice is going to be the Containment Breach, because here I do really want that green contrast. I think an Onitaji could be considered here, but I do, I really want that purple and the green contrast. Now, the cheap option for the first filler skin, which is the MP9, would be going for Hydra, and that will give me that green and purple contrast that I haven't shut up about yet, but... I very rarely get an opportunity to use this skin. So I'm going to go for the Wild Lily here. It's $2,200. It's factory new. It's a bloody lot of money to be spending for the um, for an MP9. It is used to trade up to the Wild Lotus, which obviously you can see was 10 k Hence the price. But this is super cool. It's a like ultimate loadout. So I'm going to use this skin, which I very rarely get to use. Now, for the MAC-10, I'm going to go for a feed that has a high feed percentage. So, this is like a 96% feed. Back to doing this is about $30, which is super sweet. Over on the P250, I actually think the Visions is a really good shout for this because you are getting, like, this mix of color. You've got the mix of the green, the purple, the blue, into the yellows, everything like that. And it actually works quite nicely with the gloves. Now, we are once again going back to that nice contrast, and I've gone for a Tech 9 Nuclear Threat here, which in minimal wear is $110. Not one I think I'd ever purchase myself, but for this contrast in an ultimate budget loadout, it has to be done. Now, with how crazy priced this loadout is, I couldn't bring myself to spend like half a dollar on a Meow 36. So, for the Famous, I've actually gone for the Sundown, another one from this uh, St. Mark collection, and honestly... It looks so damn good. I wouldn't say it's worth $110, but uh, in fact, you're new here, I think it definitely fits a nice vibe. Obviously, it is purple on purple, but that's okay. Because we are going to have another purple on purple, and I like this mix between the purple and the green weapon skins. Because otherwise, it's just a green loadout with purple gloves. We're really trying to mix it here. This is the Phoenix Blacklight, which is $50 in Factory New. It is a pattern-based skin, so you can get ones with the Raven in different areas. But these, the skin is a perfect pairing with these gloves. Now, we are going to get another Hyper Beast. It is going to be the 5.7. Now, this is mainly because I looked at the 5.7s. There was no real great green ones. The purple ones weren't standing out. So, I want, again, this chaotic artwork has green, has this purpley pink. Fits really well with what we're going for. And then another one that is actually cheap, but I think is perfect for this, is the Flora Carnivora Julie's. This is under $2 in Factory New. And it's, again, purples, the greens. It's got nice accent colors. It's got a little bit of chaos going on in the artwork. It is a really nice fit for this sort of thing we're going for. Now, a, a Dragon Tech would have been a really good shot here for like a dollar. That green would have really, really stood out. But there's something about the Ultraviolet SG that I just really like at the minute. I like how strong that purple contrast is on the scope and on the stock and like at the back and everything. $35 is a bit much for me to pay for, but it looks really good. Now, as we near the end of the loadout, we do get that lovely green and purple contrast that we've been discussing. I've, this is a factory new carved jade. I put about $20 for this to get a double zero float, which gets rid of most of the scuffs that you see there, but there unfortunately is still some marking. But overall, this is like really nice for that purple and green. I think the XOXO is a really good choice when it comes to the XM here. It is $7 for factory new, but obviously, depending on the pattern you get, it can have more blue. It can have more pinky purple. It can have more green. So just getting a pattern that you like that fits into this is the best way to do it now i have a bit of an agenda for my favorite mp7 skin and this time it's not even the agenda it's just the perfect option it is going to be the just smile like this has like if you're talking joker loadout and you want to go into the lore bit a little bit the actual smile and the scar and everything uh, do i know how i got this the scars on the smile like it's actually really cool and this is factoring you for two dollars and then the final skin to end it off is going to be this Scout Acid Fade, which is only a dollar in fact you new, and obviously it is Fade percentage pattern based, so you can get this, and it looks really damn good in a high percentage. Again, we're getting that green and that purple contrast. Now, what that means is, it's one of the most expensive ultimate loadouts we've ever done, because it comes in at just under $24,000. But this is insane. If you're watching this and you have like this amount of money to drop on a CS budget, maybe you consider this because it is more unique and it looks unbelievably good. And it actually pairs into this unique contrast loadouts we've been trying to build more of. 
And that is going to be the end of the video for today. Before I go, I just want to say a big thank you to the YouTube members that continue to support the channel. That's AJ, Tom, Twin Daddy, Atachi, Scream in Silence, and Bopper. You guys know who you are. The support has been greatly appreciated. Being a YouTube member is one of the easiest and best ways to directly support the content I'm making. Find out more information about it by checking the join button down below on the video. And then before I actually stop waffling, the reminder of the giveaway for this month, it, we are giving away a knife. It's a field-tested Bowie knife, Crimson Web. All you have to do is enter is hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and let me know your favorite skin from today's video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.